Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Well, today's video is going to be really short. I just went ahead and added the second XR15 over the grow out tank here. And I wanted to uh, show you the par readings and some of the numbers and kind of go into what I've discovered and kind of what really sucks. Uh, so when it comes to this, uh, this tank, I have two XR15s over it, which I thought would be enough lighting. And it turns out that it is in certain spots and then it isn't in other. And that's just because that the lighting is about 17 inches off the water and they're not really close together. They are, of course, meeting here in the middle and there's awesome paw right there. But of course, on the outer edges, there's just not. Um, now, if we come over here to the 300, you guys can see that I do have a similar setup minus the T5s, but uh, the XR15s are closer together and they're just focused on a single rock structure. So uh, that's why I can get 200 par at the bottom glass because they're coming together, uh, of course, with the T5s and they're taking care of the light that's needed. Now, uh, coming back over here to the grow out system, uh, my point was just to kind of spread the light and see what I could actually get. So if we come over here, I do have the screen's going to be a little weird with the filter, but um, let's go ahead and put the Senai Reef in. I'll show you guys kind of what I got. So if we uh, go directly underneath the water here, underneath this one XR, let me see if I can adjust it, this one XR15, let's get it there. You can see that I'm about 250-ish uh, uh, par. It's kind of fluctuating here and there. Now if we move over to the middle, where they're kind of coming together, you can see that it's about 3, it went up to 380 at one point, kind of moving around. But it's about, I would say about 350 is pretty average of what it sits around. And uh, now if we go all the way over to say the edge here, far edge, hopefully I'm not spinning you guys around too much, you can see that uh, it's pretty low. It gets down there. Now if we get down to a specific coral, let's just get down another couple inches, you can see it's under 100 par. Now, if this was just a tank that I wanted to sustain coral and I wanted to make sure that it would, uh, let me get this out of here, it would keep them alive but maybe not so much grow them the way that I want, then this would be enough light without a doubt. But unfortunately, that's not the point of the grow out system. I want to make sure that I can grow these corals efficiently. So I have a couple options. I can uh, either buy two more XR15s for this tank alone, giving it four, which would be more than enough because as you can see, when those two lights come together here, there is more than enough light. It's about 350 par. That's more than enough to take care of these corals and they'll grow just fine. Now, uh, believe it or not, I am getting some really good growth in this tank, just not at the level of the 300. And that's what I'm looking for. I want that additional growth because of course, the point of a grow out system is to grow out the corals as fast as you can so you can turn, in turn make some money on them. Now, what I plan on doing is I'm probably going to just go ahead and get two more XR15s, doubling them up for each kind of like little section here, giving me 350 par all the way across the board, taking care of the whole tank. What that means is I also have to do the same thing for this tank, which is, if you do the math there, that's about $3,000 in lighting, which you know, I already already did it over here, so I don't want to do it again. But uh, this is kind of the direction I have chosen to go, so I don't really have an option but to do that. So I guess we can look at the 300 instead of the frag tank the whole time. And um, now the other option I have is I can go ahead and buy some Reef Brights, the 48 inches. They're uh, just a little bit under the price of the Radions, uh, the higher end ones anyways. But I don't know if I want to do that because when I move and relocate and I set up new grow out systems, I'm going to want to use the Radions. I might not want to use the Reef Brights. So if I invest into them now, then I'll at least have them for when I set up the new grow out system when we eventually relocate. So it's kind of, uh, you know, do it now. I'm going to use them. I'm going to benefit from them. Um, spend the extra money and use them later on or save some money and possibly waste the lighting or not have the lighting that I'm looking for at a later setup. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, for right now, the coral in here is growing. I have no issues with that. It's just not growing as fast that I want, as I want it to. Um, of course, there's plenty of room here to continue growing this out. So I could essentially just take care of this tank of four XR15s and then, uh, you know, over the next year or so, kind of just, you know, see how the funds are and see if I really want to drop another uh, grand or so or 1500 bucks on lighting. It just, you know, thinking about it now since I've literally just been, I just realized it about five minutes ago, I'm just kind of getting hit in the face with the fact that I got to drop another three grand. But, uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes it's the cost of doing business, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, other than that, everything is pretty good. I like how these frag uh, discs are laid out, these little acro um, discs. And it's really nice how 
uh, things are starting to grow. So like for example, um, some of this SPS that is uh, starting to overgrow a plug, I will uh, snip that SPS off and uh, you know make a frag out of it, keep it in its own contained area, and then that will be uh, something that I'll heal up and then eventually sell on the site. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm ultimately pro you know, 99% sure I'm just going to buy two more XR15s for this tank and call it a day. I really like how they program with a WXM. i got to buy another one of those, by the way. And I like how I can just control everything at once, and it just it's really nice. I like having that ability to do that. So, um, you know, the cost of convenience, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, that's about it for the video. Hopefully uh, you guys have a good weekend. I put a lot of content out this week. I'm going to attempt to do this every single week. It just depends on what's going on here. Um, I'm backed up about you know, 20 orders and supplements right now. I ran out of bottles yesterday, and I'm just, I just got killed with it. So I have a new batch coming in today, and uh, hopefully I'll get all those orders out this afternoon. But other than that, that's about it. Hopefully you have a good weekend, and I will uh, see you guys later. And uh, the 300 says peace.